When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? It's all about a little bit of wow factor. Like, weddings are about that. Wow factor? It's making We're getting married in the Bahamas. Guys, no, okay. stop. Remember? Stop, stop, no, stop, no, 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 stop, no, no, no. We stop, talked about. Did you just watch my lip gloss? I think I did. It's for your own good. There's just no budget here at all, then, right? Like, we're just sort of going, la, 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 la. You know, I'm going to cry. <laughs> just because it's in the budget doesn't mean we have to spend it. You right? are so cheap. It has nothing to do with being cheap. It's just trying to this save what we way. have. Weddings are a paradise enjoyed with ease. Weddings are a bride trying to catch a breeze. Weddings are a budget that can bring you to your knees. Meet newlyweds Liz and Phil. Having their wedding both at home and in the Bahamas made waves with this couple's budget. Let's follow along as they plan the wedding of their dreams while trying to keep their heads above water. My name is Liz. I'm a 24-year-old legal social worker. I met my fiance, Phil, a child and youth worker, when we volunteered backstage at a theater show one summer. We ended up having a great time, and the rest is history. This is the story of how we struggled to plan two very different weddings on one budget. Our wedding day in the Bahamas was the most beautiful and serene day of my whole life. It was beyond anything I'd ever dreamed of. As long as you were there, I mean, that's all that mattered to me, you know? And when I saw oh, you down that really aisle, nice. I saw you down that aisle. But the island was... was still important. <laughs> their wedding may have been beyond their dreams, but paying for it may be beyond their means. Let's turn back the clock and see if this couple could have a wedding they both enjoy without leaving their budget high and dry. It was really important for me to have a wedding planner because I needed someone to kind of act as a neutral third party between me and Phil, help with the planning, and also someone to potentially come with us on the destination wedding because I wasn't sure how much help we need over there. Meet David Valley. David has 17 years of experience working with overspending brides. But will David be able to save the day on this tropical wedding when the heat is turned up? I told Liz yeah. I'd get you in a jacket or a tie. I'm afraid of Liz, and I don't think you're afraid of enough of her, actually. My role as a wedding planner is part major general, part fabulous maker, and sometimes part nanny. So guys, I want to get a sense of uh, what your wedding's going to be about. Tell me what you're thinking about. OK, I want to go first. OK, go so ahead. I, <laughs> go ahead. I think the vision for our wedding is I'm looking at beachside corals, sand colors. Uh, we're looking at lots of free-flowing drinks. We're going to be in the Bahamas. Oh, OK, so it's a destination wedding that you're yes, doing. Yes, it is a destination wedding. It's going to be summer. It's going to be hot, kind of with like a hot, kind of sizzling vibe, lots right. of people. And uh, just a really, really good time, but still classy and Have elegant. you picked a resort out? Yes. The Sandals Royal Bahamian. Oh, that's fabulous. It's on Cable Beach. Really uh, excited. Wonderful five star five resort. Star. Drinks from morning to night. Yes. Mini, they actually, All like, inclusive. they stock your mini bar with 26 resorts. I know. You, better. you yeah. can't go wrong really with better. that. Really you can't go wrong with that. me, I just want to really keep it here and keep it, you know. You mean you don't want to go to the Bahamas? Which is exactly why we decide to have a second wedding to kind of appease Phil as You're well. You're having two weddings. Two weddings. One in the Bahamas. One here. Yes. Okay. So it's like, like a, a tale of two weddings then. Kinda. Kinda. I kinda like that. And everybody's cool with going down to the Bahamas for this. Definitely, I'm sure. We haven't really asked them yet, so I don't know why you're saying that we, they're definitely sure. So but, I mean we're saying 13 now, but it might could be change. Like, it could change. You know, but it's a this... vacation too. It's not like well, they're just coming Liz, for us. One thing you do have to be yeah. prepared for and you can't take personally. Yeah. No. Um uh, if someone can't afford to come to your wedding, thank you. That's just the case. Unless you're willing to foot the bill for them. Thank you. Yeah, see? No, 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 no. I think to be good with budgets, you have to realize that budgets are always negotiable. And I don't think that Phil sees that, which really upsets me because it, it is important. You know, you've got to have that flexibility, and he doesn't have it. I think this is going to be great, David. And we really I, want sure your help yeah, yeah, making sure our vision what it is, I think. Can we just say this? It's you and not we? Because the we kind of sounds like I'm into this. Yeah, it's going to happen for the rest of it's your like life. It's like the royal we, I think. The, oh, uh, the royal we. Well, her name is Elizabeth. There you go. And I'm practicing my wave. <laughs> practicing your wave. Well, there you go. Give me some more details here, guys. Um, okay. uh, now, what, what's your venue for here? Um, that's um, where we're having a yeah. few Issues. You don't have a venue yet not, for the home wedding. Not yet. You know, we've no. looked at some places. Oh, guys, it's, it's getting close. I, I mean, know. I mean, 
it's I know. summer wedding. You got to start. Things book up fast, but yeah. we do have a restaurant that we're looking at okay. uh, that my family really loves, <laughs> and we had a <laughs> heritage. What's wrong with the restaurant? That's not what I. That's not what we do. That's not what I do. Restaurant where you know everyone is in a in a four seated table. No, right? come on. No, we're looking at doing like um, like a very old school Hollywood kind of feel. The timing is a little tight in terms of booking something, but I'll get my staff on that right away, and we'll and we'll present you guys with some options. Uh, have you picked out a dress yet? Yes. Um, it is fabulous. It's a very elaborate gown. And um, I also picked out a couple of reception dresses, one for the reception at home and one for the reception in the Bahamas. One, two, three dresses so far. Uh, and hopefully a fourth that we're looking at. Are you planning on another wedding? Or? No, 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 no. I'm looking at uh, doing like a trash the dress, trash, trash the wedding dress, kind of. Yeah, that's a bit of a trend, but uh, yeah. generally you trash the wedding dress, not a replica. But I, I wanted to um, trash to trash way. another dress because I wanted to be economical and wear the same dress for both ceremonies. I couldn't trash it. Oh, you want to trash one at the beach? Yes. Oh, okay. Kind of like running Does off it, the dock. And... I don't see any reason at all why we need to spend money to ruin something. It's not about spending you, money, Phil. It's not about money. If you want to burn money, money, let me burn it money. We'll do a nice little ceremony. We'll burn some money. Babe, because it's not I, about burning money. It's all about a little bit of wow factor. Like, wow. weddings are about that. Wow factor? It's making We're a difference. We're getting married in the Bahamas. Guys, 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 yeah, we should move on to something else. Uh, let's talk about the cake. Now, you got one, I'm assuming, that's coming with the hotel in the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. For the home wedding, I was looking at something a little more elaborate. I'm looking at, like, Please. a four, maybe five tier. No, we don't need tiers. Why do we need four or five tiers? What do you want for What do you want for a cake, Phil? You know, I want... Um, you know, a groom's cake. You know, something cool, something artistic, something handcrafted. We don't need. I'm the one who's extravagant, but you want two cakes. I don't. We're having two cakes because one's in the Bahamas and one's here. No, you're saying you want a groom's cake. I want a cake. No, which the we groom's need. cake will be the cake. It's okay. gotta be a bride and groom cake. Sure, yeah. be a groom's then we'll cake. do something that matches Not all the you, groom's Phil. cake. Uh, there's a little bit of conflict here on what he wants and what she wants, but I don't have a good sense yet of what your budget is, so I need to know. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Well, I hope we're going to double your fun with your wedding because I'm pretty sure we're going to double your budget. Coming up. You know what our budget is? You know yes. What well aware of the budget. So where did this come from? It's just from? a number, Phil. It's just a number. Exactly. Sure it's just a number. Enough. It was very important to stick to a budget. Yes. Because otherwise my wife would just lose it. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean I would lose it? What oh, exactly? We all know. We all like know. To spend. I like to spend. What <laughs> <laughs> woman does like to spend? <laughs> when it comes to planning your wedding, never forget that your bride is going to be queen for a day. Can we just say this? It's you and not we, because the we kind of sounds like I'm into this. It's going to happen for the rest of it's your like life. It's like the royal we, I think. The, oh, uh, the royal we. Well, her name is Elizabeth. There you go, and I'm practicing my wave. <laughs> and at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple stayed under budget or had a battle royale over for money. We were really cutting it down to the wire in terms of finding a venue for home, but in the end, David really pulled through for us. Yeah. He took me, Phil, and my mom to go have a look at a heritage art house, and I I definitely had a few reservations. Oh, wow. Wow. Quite different. Yeah, this is the uh, one of the original barns, I believe, that's been renovated. It dates from the early part of the... Yeah. 1800s, so it's got some nice so historical. So where's the part that we'd be using though? Because this obviously isn't it. <laughs> yeah, no. This is the. Uh, this is where we would put the uh, tables and chairs. Okay. For, uh, but where's see, the party yeah. gonna happen? Right here. This is this is part of where the party will happen. It's not too formal. It's exactly what I was looking yeah, for. It's, nice. it's it's really gorgeous, like David. It it's is. breathtaking. I love what you found. But it's kind of not what I was thinking. I kind of, I thought we kind of, you know, have the old Hollywood, kind of very chic, very upscale restaurant. I mean, hey, it's gorgeous, hey, it's fabulous. This, is, this may not be old Hollywood, but this is old school. And most importantly, it's 1650. It's actually in your budget. I don't think I like my budget then. <laughs> you don't have to like your budget. 
just stay within it. And that restaurant that you're talking about is out of your budget for a you know formal, intimate Italian dinner. I mean, very high end. What if there were still a couple places on our list that we hadn't looked? So if we just go, we have a look. One even. No. One more place. No, no. no more places. No. This is what okay, I let, me, let me tell you some things that are not going to change between here and another place. Your budget's not going to change, no. right? Your number of it guests. Could. No, it's kind it's of not. a little bit it's linear. Not. No, it's, it's not. It's done. not a set in it's stone. Liz, 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 it's a guideline. Liz, Liz. That's right. It's a guideline to keeping you out of debt. No, okay. Stop. Remember? Stop, stop, no, stop, no, 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 no. We stop, talked stop. about. Stop. Remember how we talked oh. about? Did you smudge my lip gloss? Oh. I think I did. It's for your own good. We don't need to look at any of this. This is fine. This is perfect. Is as close. We can do it. But I feel like you're making the decision without me. That is fine. It could be like very. Very country chic, very sort of relaxed. Okay, maybe let's take out country. Yeah. Put in Hampton. Okay. Come sell it to me that way. Quick, David, make it sound expensive. It's rustic, it's beautiful, and it is country. But it more importantly, don't say country. Don't yes. say rustic. There is nothing wrong with like country. country. This is your spot. I cannot I give it's... you any more help with this wedding unless you make a positive decision here. Yeah, it's it's perfect. Positive Come means on. I have to agree with you, yes. right? Yes. Well, no, you have to agree with your <laughs> husband to be. I'm just the mediator. You know, this is nice. This is beautiful. This open Do costume. Do you like it, Phil? Are you really sold on it? I'm sold on yeah. it. I'm sold on the price. I'm sold on, I'm sold on everything that this thing brings. It's art. It's different. Okay. Okay. Is, is Prince Philip happy? <laughs> oh, this is not Prince. This is, is Queen Mum happy? Definitely. Come Rustic on. charm. Oh, Come okay, on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Phil can have it. Phil can have it because I want to make you happy too. Yay. And if this makes you happy, then okay. Okay. I didn't take a pill this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you the kitchen. Hooray. Shopping was actually really stressful. It was a lot more stressful than I, I thought it was. Well, it sounds kind of ditzy to say it, but it was actually, it's the most important outfit you're probably ever gonna wear in your whole life. So uh, I went with my mom and bridesmaid Marissa and we went for my final fitting. I actually really like, I knew that, you know you get that feeling like and you just know it's yes. the right one. I knew I was gonna love it, but this is like, like, this is it, guys. Like, this oh, is it. It's a great length and everything. It's so, yeah. everything I wanted. So is this the one you're going to trash? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not trashing that dress. We paid a lot of money for that. You, what, what are you doing with it? I don't know. Okay, the vision. I'm standing there, jumping off a dock, waist deep in water. It's like kind of hot, but kind of not. So you already have the wedding dress yes. and a reception dress. Yes. And you're expecting another dress to trash just to jump in the water in. No, don't think of it as trashing the dress. But think that's what it, No, 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 okay, hold on. Think of it as a once in a lifetime photo opportunity. Isn't that what weddings are anyway? How much do you intend to spend on this dress you're gonna trash? Probably like another grand. <gasps> don't, don't, don't think so. Yeah, but no, this, okay, seen. resort is famous for the pictures of the brides running off the end of the dock. Okay, this is gonna go across my living room back of my couch, I can already see this in my mind. It's gonna be perfect, okay? And $1,000 times like every day is like nothing. You can't argue with that math. So what if we do it for under 500? Would that be a little more suitable? That Would is you feel reasonable. more comfortable? That is very reasonable, Tara. That is very reasonable. Let's Tara. look at what you have and then we'll make the final decision. Sure, what, yeah, okay, I'll just grab some, okay? Here, have a look at the dress. You look amazing! Trash the dress, why did you come No, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, Let's how about I give you some ideas? Okay. Uh, how about something like this? Going with a short, kind of puffy dress. It's like kind of fun and... It's cute, but I feel kind of like a French maid in it. Well, you may need a second job to pay for all these dresses. What about this one? A little That's bit sexier. Cute. Yeah, That's cute. And this one is nice beautiful lacy. for in the water. It's gonna blow one. And how much is that one? Um, I think this one's like 375. Mm. I do like the idea. I think the idea is really cool. Okay, so we're, we're set on the idea is cool. It's the yeah. Mom, do you like the idea though, at least? Because I want you to like it. Okay, it's fine. Should we, should it's okay. different. Why don't you try it yeah. on? And, Have and her try. See, I can never say no to you. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> it's so great. Try it's so great. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. Ooh. Hey. That's a little different than what it's I pictured. Okay. Yeah. A little different. It's okay. That's pretty nice. Mm. It's flowy, it's got a romantic kind of vibe. It's we're just getting a wet, right? Okay, you, you, you've sold me, we'll trash the dress. Excellent, dress. that's Maybe. what I like to hear. Uh, there was this other one that I saw that no, I really no, liked no, over no, there. No, 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 no. We're done spending money, no more. That's it, last try. <laughs> we should just get her out of the shop we should while we go, can. Yes. Yeah. Phil 
and I felt it was really important to firm up the numbers on who was coming to the destination wedding. Yeah. So we thought it was important to have a meeting with the whole bridal party. Oh, everyone was a little surprised by that meeting. We were all a little surprised by that meeting. I don't know how you chose this place, but it's, it's amazing. I honestly, I saw it and my, it took my breath away. All inclusive, all you can drink. All you can eat. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All you can eat, all you can drink for one week in the sun celebrating a wedding. Like, you could not get any better than that. And it's only gonna be $2,500 for the week. Whatever happened to just giving the couple a toaster? For the month? What? For the week, for the week then. But some of us have like just gotten out of school. Yeah, so. some of us are kind of like working minimum wage jobs <laughs> yeah. right now. Like, That's, You know what, it's totally cool. You know, if you guys can't make it for, you know, cause you guys can't, you know, come out, that's completely cool. Don't worry about it. So you can you honestly imagine these people not at our wedding? No, we're all going. These people are <laughs> our wedding. No, 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 no. It's okay. And I, I'm I don't not, want to stress understand. anybody financially. Like, I, I really, that's so, so not my what? goal. But I really want you guys all to be there. Like, it would, it would break my heart if you guys could not come to my wedding. Right. And it would break their bank if they did. Mm -hmm. Which is why I kind of had an idea. You had an idea? I think we should pay for them. Excuse me? Seriously? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 $2,500 for each of them, that's worth it to me. That is so worth it. Excuse me, uh, when did we, um, I'm okay with that. So when did we discuss this? <laughs> okay, well, when did I we have this idea? It's the only way we can get them there, and I need to have them there. Honestly, we can't do that. We need to talk about something this else. This is our no. budget. This that, is that, where the budget that, should be that, going. The budget should be going to us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me and you. Whoa, whoa. And I'm the bad guy. No, seriously, this no, is not about that guy. I mean, we just can't be forking out extra money when we have... Phil, this is important we... to me, and this is important. Don't yeah. you guys want to be at our wedding? Do you know what yeah. our budget yeah, is? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what our budget is? You know yes, what the... well aware of the budget. So where did this come it's from? It's just a number, Phil. It's just a number. Exactly, it's just a number. So. So the number should stay where the number we kind of had it. What if we had a compromise? What? We had a compromise. They have a smaller package. Okay. Three days, all inclusive. Cut it like in half. Can you guys pay for that? Yeah. No. What? No. We want them no. there. That's how they're gonna get there. We don't. Want, I love you guys. I don't want you to pay more than you feel you can. Then Phil, honestly, look at me. Look at me. It will break our hearts, whether you want to say it or not, and their hearts if they're not there. We need to make this happen, babe. Poor Phil. It's ten against one. We love you, Phil. We do. I love these guys. You know, that's, I do. But, you know, I and love you. And the verdict you. is? I love you more. The verdict is? The verdict is? I'm getting to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I love you more. So it, uh, that's what you really want. And then <laughs> let's go. Coming up. I know, but it's a wedding cake. It's forty two hundred and fifty dollars worth of cake. Why are you guys ganging up on me? It's a lot it's of cake, like a honey. Boys party yeah. only. For the cake, it was a very simple cake. Fake. It was fake. <laughs> it was a fake cake. Only the top was the layer was a small cake. The Which other you ones cut. Were... The others were all fake. When it comes to budgeting for your wedding, it's important to be on the same page as your partner. Honestly, we can't do that. We need to talk about something this else. This is our no, budget. No, no, this no, is no, where no, the budget that, should be that, going. The budget should be going to us. Whoa, whoa. Me and you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm the bad guy. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple left their budget in the Bahamas or managed to pull off the impossible. Well, we took um, David to, to a bakery to um, to pick out our cake and... Um, I think people definitely got the vibe that cake was a important part of our, our wedding planning process. Absolutely. See, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, this is a, sh it's a champagne bottle. We can customize it so that it could be like a Phil and Liz champagne bottle. I think it's amazing. I think we, have we have agreement. Yeah. We have an agreement. Where's I my know. chair? I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> Not so fast, David. How much is this? Uh, for the cake, it's $200 and $50 for the label. $250, that's a good deal for that. Now, Liz, this is the cake I prepared for you. It's a beautiful cake. It makes a real uh, statement uh, on your table. Guys, anyway. that is a showstopper. That is, tell me that is a showstopper. Yeah, but it's huge. Phil's face says it's a heart stopper. What are we talking about for the for price of this cake? For a real cake as this size, it'll go for $2,000, but... Whoa. Now, that's a bargain. That's a bargain for something like this, I personally think. That's a bargain? That's a bargain. But I could save you some money. I could actually make the bottom tier dummy, so we 
we can bring the price down to $1,500. So you're saving $500. And the looks of the cake won't change. And nobody will know the difference. That's the beauty of it. If I have this cake, you can win every argument we have for like a whole week. And not only that, but I think that Are if I Are you sure leave, you mean that? But just for a, a week, week, just for one week. A one week only. Give it two hours. Vouchers. Come on, Phil, shake on it. Agreed or not? Agreed, agreed, okay. agreed, agreed, right. agreed, right. agreed, right. agreed. Right. agreed. It's not that I want a large, expensive cake for myself. I think guests would appreciate it. I think it's gonna be a decorative piece that people can talk about, have their photos taken with, and everyone appreciates a good cake. I don't think it's that unreasonable. Oh, Liz, I forgot something for you. I have your favor box. <gasps> the favors are done? <gasps> yes. Oh, you guys are gonna love these. Okay. Wait, what favors? What you favors? Thank me in like 30 seconds. Thank you. These favors. are probably gonna be the best wedding favors you've ever done in a whole wedding. Boxes made out of cake that we give to each guest. Now, Liz, these are the favors for oh. your guests that you told me to prepare them for you, and I did. Oh, and they're beautiful. Oh, my God. I mean, these are amazing. I can take these home and now, I can... Now, what kind of icing is whoa, this? Because this whoa, looks whoa, really hold on, good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's great and all, but Irene, how much are these? Uh, these ones, they go for $25 a piece. Oh. That's great. But your Times guests, they're gonna love guests. them. $25 a, honey, Phil, 20, you just 25. saved $500. Can so really, talk? whatever you want. You just spent $17.50, want... yeah, actually. $2,500 for the cake right there, which brings us up to a grand total of $4,250. All on cake. You are way over budget, Marie Antoinette. No, 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 this is not cake budget. This is wedding favors, so it's a different wedding budget. Wedding favors? Uh, it just happens to uh, be cake. It's still cake. I know, but it's a wedding favor. It's $4,250 worth of cake. Why are you guys ganging up on me? It's a lot of cake, honey. You got cake for 500 and you only have 100 guests. But I, I think these are special. You know why? People Thank will you, get Irene. to take them home. Oh, they're lovely, and, dear. And they can actually put them in the freezer, and they can eat them on your first anniversary and celebrate oh. your anniversary. If I want for them. Nice. Can I make a suggestion? Please. Okay. We can Gorgeous. do one per couple as opposed to one per person. Yeah, you purchase 60 true. of them, and 60 brings it up to $1,500 entire cost. For that's that. reasonable. As opposed to 25, I'm trying to help out here. Because you, you know she's gonna win. Phil, please. Do you like them, though? Just if, They're beautiful. If cost They're, was aside, do you like them? If cost was aside, then we take them with a heartbeat. We'll take them. Oh, good. I'm glad you made her happy. Look Cost at that. aside. Cost aside. Wedding isn't about money. Wedding is about your guests having a fun time and us remembering Ooh, it. That's where you're wrong, sister. Weddings are all about money. When we pulled up to the resort in the Bahamas, I knew we had made the right decision. If there was any reservation in my mind at all, it was totally gone. It was the awesome. most fabulous experience of my whole life. It was... The hospitality. It felt kind of red carpet. Oh, I was, felt a little bit like a celebrity. I was taken away. I was taken back by the scenery, the color of the water, our view, um, everything. It was incredible. You know what, Liz, I have to apologize. You know, I know... Yeah, I know I said a whole bunch of stuff about, you know... You did. I said a whole lot of stuff and... You, know, this you rained is, on my parade a little bit. I, How thankful are you of me right now? I, no, of all the it, whining, all the it, complaining, it, it all the issues. It doesn't, it, honestly, it does not even matter. No, it, it, yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you. Thank Cheers. you very much. I love you. David and the resort rep were really fantastic because once we got yeah, there... Yeah, they were very pleasant. Yeah, they yeah. took us through uh, exactly what our options were and we had it all set up so we could see each individual piece. <laughs> but once I got there and I saw the things that I'd chosen in person... Here we go. Um, there were a few upgrades. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes Hello. upgrades happen. Why don't you come down and take a look at some of the tables that we've wow. got for you. Oh, oh wow, it's beautiful. Goodness. So I wanted to start you off with the beautiful beginnings. This is our basic theme that comes yes. with um, nice. all of our weddings. Lovely. If you're staying a certain number of nights with us in a certain room category, of course, this is going to come standard with your wedding if, so, if you okay. so choose. So it means I'm not special. You've got a lot of different you're options. Don't, hey, don't say that. Well, no, I just feel like if everybody has the option of doing this, I don't feel like it's personalized. Very good point. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I want to feel like it's more tailored to me. Exactly. Yes, this wedding needs to focus on the bride for a change. And that's you know exactly I mean? why I'm here. because. Okay. after all the months that we've been planning and talking about this yes. and talking to David, there was a lot of different avenues that we wanted to really take and really yes. customize a lot of the items for you. Is he going to get mad at me if I show him something else? Well, you no, know what? Chuck, show us okay. something I've else. Learned, I've learned to live with his anger. Okay. Chuck, come on, man. We're good with this. We're fine with just this. No, yeah, Phil. You know, Phil, 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 Phil. 
there's money in the budget to do some of these upgrades. We're not talking about going over budget here. We're talking about spending the money that we have. So just because it's in the budget doesn't mean we have to spend it. All right? You are so cheap. It has nothing to do with being cheap. It's just trying to this save what we wedding. have. This is the one day you know, where you, you can't be cheap. cheap this cheap is the one day. The this is the one day we can be cheap because then we start the rest of our lives. Mm. What will we save? So I've got some ideas for you that I think is going to help you out. Talk and I think it's going to make everybody happy. Yes. I'm looking over there. Yeah. Something Chuck set up. Oh that's... my God! This has my name on it. Forget the name. Check the price tag. But Dave, Dave, this that's an upgrade. Big. Well, you know, let's not argue about this until but we talk turkey on the money. What I would recommend that we do is let's go with the beautiful beginning table. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's still going to be a, 60, a, a six foot table, round. It's still going to have the pink mat on it. But now we'll add the lanterns for it. Again, everything can be I all apart. So we would actually spend nine lanterns over each table, and they're oh. $75. Oh, I love wow. that. For, for all table? nine. $75? For all nine. Dollars? Yes. Bill, that is like amazing. That Just is like for it. what? For some, Bill, some coil come on. and, and, okay, and tissue paper? Stop being rude. You're insulting him. Last thing I want to show you. And I'm, I'm sorry, Phil, but I, again, I need, need you to see these. No, these are the parasols. No. Oh, of course, they're going to match. I didn't even notice those. Come here. Oh. Now, the parasols come with all oh. of our oh. themes in various different colors. Shop, shop, one, for, one for Liz. Ooh. Oh, one and for, it's my favorite color. One for David. Just picture walking down the aisle and having all your guests have the, the parasol. So it's a beautiful look all together. But your bridesmaids can wear this. So that also oh, means no, additional cost. Yes. But you can also, it's a takeaway favor for your guests or your bridesmaids. Oh, they get so to keep them? They get to keep these. Oh, They're really? not just a rental. This is a oh, purchase. That's kind of cool, actually. How much are they? $20 each. $20 each. But okay. that's not bad. That's really good. But We're hold looking on. at, that's $800. Yep. Okay, but what if I just had them for the bridesmaids? That's fine, absolutely. Instead of bouquets, because I'm, sure. you know, that would be cheaper than a bouquet, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Oh, gosh, yeah. Absolutely. How much would a bouquet a bridesmaid start at? Average bouquets for the bridesmaids is about $200. Yeah, so that's you're gonna a thousand bucks right the there. Yeah. And these are a lot cheaper. 1200 so now I'm thinking like you. So I'm thinking you're going to agree with <laughs> this me. This is actually budget time. Yeah. Now, Phil, who I are you? Know, what have you done with Liz? I don't know, but we'd be stupid not to do it. Well, when you put it that way, I'm on your side. You know what? I can't argue with with the the, the, the cost That's that we're logic, saving. That's logic, Phil. You can't argue with. I logic. can't argue with the cost. <laughs> I told you I was. You gonna can't argue with cheaper, Phil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that's my last. Then you're just arguing. Coming up. No, I'm gonna cry. There's no, no, don't cry. But there's just no budget here at all, then, right? Like we're just sort of going. La, 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 la. I kept thinking. Should I take it slow and easy? But I've made him wait for two and a half hours. <laughs> so I kept trying to speed my mom up. My mom would be slowing us down. It's like two and a half hours, Mom. I remember telling her that, Mom, it's yeah. two and a half hours. We better hurry up. So you wanted to rush up the altar? So I tried to run up the altar. When it comes to planning your wedding, it's best not to forget that life continues after the wedding day. Just because it's in the budget doesn't mean we have to spend it. You are so cheap. It has nothing to do with being cheap. It's just trying to this save what we wedding. have. This is our wedding. This is the one day you know, where you, you can't know. be cheap. cheap this cheap is the every one day. day the this other is day. the one day we can be cheap because then we start the rest of our lives. What will we save? And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple lands on both feet or is left without a leg to stand on. So our bridal party just got there, and so we're just enjoying all of them there and having drinks and getting, you know, just, just soaking up the sun. And then David comes in with some of the documents and brings in another surprise that I did not know about. I'm sure you're told at some point. To the end of some chapters, to the beginning of a new one. Aww. One of the best decisions we've ever made, Liz and I, getting married and having all you guys with us. Thank you all so much for coming! Well, it did help that it was paid for. Oh hey, David. Hi, hi. I got the final menu here. I just oh, want thank you. Guys you. Okay. Yeah. I think it's everything okay. you wanted. Yeah. yeah that's a good order. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. I like and that. then that's going to be okay with the without the curried shrimp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so curry. That's, no that's curry. That's curry. Sure. curry. No curry. No okay. curry. No curry. So we're good on the menu. Yes. Um, now, the steel drummer. Yeah. I got the price. Okay. It's 400 bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. How is that not bad? That, I think I think that's worth it. $400, and that's okay. for an hour, right, David? So we play the ceremony and the first part of the reception yeah. that way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're going to be on the island. I think it would be great if we had the steel drums. Phil, just shush for a second. Guys, input. It just adds so much atmosphere. It does. It does. Where It gives you that tropical feel. You feel like you're in the tropics. You feel like you're on the beach. I thought it was on vacation. Feel... Apparently, you're only on vacation from saving. Wait, this is, no, again, another up. upgrade. We don't need any more upgrades. You are the <laughs> cheapest person I've ever met in my life, That's not though. cheap, honey. Guys, who is in favor of these steel drums yeah. on the wedding day? Yeah. Yeah. Walking down the aisle to steel yeah. drums. Yeah. I think you're outvoted yeah. again, Phil. Bottoms up, okay. ladies. We've just made a decision. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. 
morning of the wedding day in the Bahamas, I slept in. I was so relaxed. I hit the snooze button a few too many times, and the girls had to come and wake me up, which was huh. nice that they were so on top of things. So I, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it happens. Ladies, thank you all for being with me at this moment. It's a very exciting moment, and I am so glad that you were all here to share this. On a boat, bitches. Like, on a boat. <laughs> Enjoy it while you've got it, because I'll bet your budget is a sinking ship. Oh, look at you. Thank you. You look fabulous. It's a little warm. It's very warm. I think I lost about 10 pounds. Oh, wow. Isn't this great? Yeah. Yeah, it's just magical. This is, this is perfect. That's Here me. Here we go. How are you? Chuck. Stuff at home. How do you like? I Did do Chuck like it. Chuck and I do a great job. You did a great job, Chuck. The ceremony was amazing. Absolutely amazing. When I saw Liz coming down the aisle, Oh, words can express how how I felt. My heart was just, you know, bursting into tears. It was just so, just overflow with joy. You know, it's it's what we build up for. Philip, do you take Elizabeth Morrow to be your lawful wedded wife? Absolutely. Elizabeth, your hand has been offered in marriage. Do you willingly today, before your special witnesses? take Philip Nico to be your husband? Without a doubt. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I now bring up that you are husband and what? Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Philip Nico, <laughs> you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Trash the Jess scene was amazing. The moment we jumped off that dock and I just got over that fear and just like curled myself in, I knew it was it was something that people were gonna remember for a very long time. We took the plunge. We literally took the plunge. Took I think they're chickening out. After what they spent, this part is easy. Best thing I could ever imagine. And the dance was good. We didn't even rehearse the dance. Yeah, we were worried nice. about the dance. Dance is fabulous. Yes. Mwah. Now for back home. Now for back home. <laughs> Bahamas wedding was amazing, but after we came home, it was back to reality. Yeah. And David wanted to meet about the budget because he said it was very important. Yep. I don't see why, um, but apparently he felt like it was something we needed to do. I wonder why he would need that. I have no idea. Mm. Guys, we're back home. Uh, we've pretty much depleted the budget with all of the extras we spent in the Bahamas. But what I do want to do is run through some questions I have about your budget down there, as well as some stuff um, to do with the home reception as well. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, so I checked in with the venue. Right. Everything is looking good with them. Also checked in with your caterer. Everything's looking good on that front as well. This is always where I get scared. Um, is there anything uh, in terms of the Bahamian portion of the budget that I'm not aware of? Um, I've never seen this bride this quiet. I'm gonna say it straight out. It was a big thing. It was very important to us. I That's forgot to tell you. You forgot to tell me what? Um, we paid for the bridal party to come with us for their package you, at the Sandals Preserve. You, you paid for what? Like, like, like to come downtown with us to go for a no, drink? No, we paid <laughs> for their stay. No, this one, this one over here wanted to. At about to... a grand a pop. You spent like $10,000 extra on having a bridal party there. It was 10 grand for a grand old time. Remember when I kept saying to Phil that these upgrades are okay because we have a set amount of money and I didn't think we'd hit that amount in the budget? Liz, you make me feel like I was a liar to Phil. So there's really no Not budget. Not gonna cry. There's just no, no, don't cry, don't but cry, there's just no cry. budget here at all then, right? Like, we're just sort of going, la, 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 la. No, 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 it's not quite like, la, 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 it's just a little bit of a la, 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 la. Is, like, it's, it's a huge chunk of cash in your budget. But you know what, it was worth it. I'm wondering if there's anywhere we can extract any kind of savings out of what's happening uh, up here. Could we get rid of those guest favors? How about just getting rid of the guests? No. 
one. No. You know what? No, because I told the girls about those, and people are actually really excited about this cake. Well, of course Whoa. they are. They're good. You know, I, yeah, yeah. Your, your bridesmaids who you flew down are getting another freebie. Of course they're. Of course they're excited about it. I just I feel that, like it's out of control right you now. You know what? I, I feel like that money was really worth worthwhile and, and well spent. We might as well just put that on a recording. I think that money was really well spent. Just, just I think that money was really well spent. I think that money was really well spent. I don't know. You are you are overspending like crazy here. There's not much money I can help you save at this point. I need you to tell me we're gonna have open communication. Hey, you'll have as much open communication as she'll give you. You're not gonna buy a bow or a ribbon or anything else without telling no, me? Let me make promise. Yeah, promise. Just tell me I'll make promise. it for you if you promise. have to. And I'd like my fee and certified funds by tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Super. You take IOUs? <laughs> Coming up. Don't, don't walk away from me. Come on. I'm not, Phil. I'm not walking away from you. I'm walking to sit on the couch. If you would like to join me, you are more than welcome. Uh, the funniest thing was we were just about to read our vows, and a large man with nothing but jeans on was eating an ice cream. Right behind me. Standing directly <laughs> behind her, and I started laughing, and she couldn't understand why, and I said, I'll tell you later. Yeah. When it comes to discussing your wedding finances, you may feel like your partner isn't really listening. You might as well just put that on a recording. I think that money was really well just, spent. Just I think that money was really well spent. I think that money was really well spent. I don't know. And soon, we'll find out if this bride continued to sound like a broken record or if she just broke the record for spending. I think discussing with David after hearing what he had to say kind of kicked us back into reality of what's, uh, that we still have another way to go. I felt like I was in the principal's office in middle school again, <laughs> and it really sucked. I felt really bad, and I felt Sometimes. personally persecuted. Have you read this? Dave gave us this list. It's got all these circles on it of the amount of money that we've been spending. Maybe David wishes he was in kindergarten again because no, he enjoys no, no, strong no, no. circles. David is giving us a hint here of where we should, you know, cut some stuff. We got to cut somewhere, and I think we got to cut where I'm looking at. We got to get rid of the cake boxes, honey. People expect a guest favor. Uh-huh. People spend a lot of money on guest favors. We appreciate our guests. We don't have that many guests coming. Let's appreciate them and give them a really nice guest favor. Maybe it's time to give your budget a favor. Oh, we don't... Don't, don't walk away from me. Come on. I'm not, Phil, I'm not walking away from you. I am walking to sit on the couch. If you would like to join me, you are more than welcome. Can we just donate instead of, instead of buying something? I thought the idea wasn't that you wanted to do something with the money, it was that you didn't want to spend the money at all. No, we don't have to spend that much, but we can spend something. But how much money would you actually want to donate to charity? It doesn't matter how much we yes, spend. Yes, it does, Phil. No, it does Because if you're donating to charity, people expect that you're giving a good donation. We can't just say, oh, we donated some money to charity in your names. Oh, great, and we donate 50 bucks. Like, oh, Liz, a, gen a generous donation is a generous donation, no matter how it is. I feel you're not very generous, though. I am as generous as they come. And you'd better be generous with a free-spending bride like Liz. If I say yes before I say yes, will you promise to give a really good donation to charity, though? I promise to give a really good amount to charity. Because we're both in helping professions. I prom this will be my Lock it. Oh, look, I'm locking. Let's lock up this budget instead. In terms of the back home wedding reception and the morning of, for me, it was completely frantic. You have no idea really what's going on because there's just so much going on at once. It's OK. It's over now, though. It's over now. But I need um, a fan. I need a fan her? downstairs. Where I thought she's coming here. No, she will be coming here for sure. Yeah, but I'm like, just gonna sit back. I need to grab a fan. Do you need me just to shut you down? She's incapable of finishing a single statement. It's You're amazing. A fan. <laughs> it's a <very> <laughs> I'm your touch being married, but I need a light. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. I'm going to touch your bum for a second. That's like nothing old, yeah. new. <laughs> good old days. Big Phil, big day. How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Yeah? Feeling good, yeah. Okay, but you gotta fix, you gotta fix your toe, right? Eh? Yeah, how's my hair? Is it all right? Uh, do you want me to be honest? <laughs> sure. No, I'm just joking. It looks very nice. <laughs> Thank you. You look good. Yeah. Walking down the aisle at the home reception, I was really nervous. I had this uncontrollable feeling in my stomach. I just felt like I was gonna either, like, throw up or pass out or, like, Drop that all together. I was really, really nervous. And all the girls were laughing at me. They're like, you've done this before. I'm like, yeah. but it wasn't in a church. And it just felt really different. Philip, do you here in the presence of God and of this congregation affirm and renew the commitment you made 
when you bound yourself to Elizabeth in marriage? I do. Elizabeth, do you here in the presence of God and of this congregation affirm and renew the commitment you made when you bound yourself to Philip in marriage? I do. <laughs> you must okay. share the peace of Christ with a kiss. Get over here. Coming up. How many dresses are involved? I'm not gonna. How much silver? How much silver? Can't tell you. I remember all my vows, and they were beautiful. Um, but I don't think anybody could hear me. I don't think I could hear myself, really. I think I was like a mouse. I don't even think that uh, the priest heard you. <laughs> well, he must have, because we got married, so. Probably, I guess. <laughs> when planning a wedding, sometimes the best of intentions can get the best of your budget. Oh, Liz, a, gen a generous donation is a generous donation, no matter how I feel it is. you're not very generous, though. I am as generous as they come. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this couple's generosity went to a worthy cause or just left their savings in need of charity. The at-home wedding reception was amazing, and it was equally special and equally wonderful, I thought, in a totally different way than the Bahamas. It was a lot more structured, and it felt more like a, a wedding that I'd been to before. Liz? Yes. Do you really? Hey! David! How many dresses are involved in this? I'm not gonna... <laughs> How much silver? How much silver? Uh, can't tell you. Are you coming to your own party or not? Um, yeah, let's hope so. Come okay, on. awesome. It was a wonderful night of toasts and fine food, and the party continued late into the night. Honestly, it has it been the awesome. best day. I've awesome. enjoyed today so we have been so blessed. I cannot words can't describe People how, how come great. from all over the world from, for today. You know, the, the Bahamas was awesome. Here this is was, awesome. This was awesome. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more, but No, a, they're both equally they're, awesome. Oh, we love okay, them both. Fine. They're amazing. It was awesome. Music pumping, the drinks were flowing. Yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready to, I just want to go back. I, in I there. still hear some music pumping, so let's go, let's go, let's go in there. Okay. Right. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me! Right. Mm. Everything may be awesome now, but wait until you see what awesome did to your budget. The original budget we gave to David was $40,000. The jewelry that Liz wore on the day, she looked phenomenal, and that cost was $580. I really couldn't make up my mind in terms of what I wanted to wear for the actual wedding day, so I had to have a couple of options. And all my dresses only came to a total of $3,875, which I think is well spent. David was a lot of help both at the Bahamas and at, home, at the home wedding, and his fee was $5,200. So the at-home reception, including food, decor, and venue, came to a total of $8,950. I was so happy to see all of our friends come to the Bahamas to see us get married, um, but that big total set us back $9,285. Our total cost of the destination wedding, including flights and all the upgrades that I guess I insisted on, came to $20,925, which was totally worth it. Miscellaneous costs such as the photographer, cakes, and our rings all came up to $7,260. So what we actually spent on the wedding was $56,075, which puts ever so slightly over our budget by $16,075, which in my defense was totally worth it before you say anything. Wasn't slightly. I know, well, but what- It wasn't the, slightly. I the don't amount know what your definition of slightly was. That's not slightly. I had a great time. In the grand scheme that. of things, yeah. 16 grand and change is slightly. I'm actually pretty sure I could definitely go into finances. I'm thinking oh. of doing a career change, so. Oh, yeah. You, you'll be great at that, honey. The champagne cake has been popped. The guests have helped themselves to the buffet dinner, and the guests have danced the night away. The only question left is, how much overtime will Phil have to work to pay for it all? We saw each other for the first time when my wife co uh, to be yelled, Philip, I need your help, <laughs> because a bridal consultant never showed up, and I had a zipper uh, wedding dress up. My ex-boyfriend <laughs> DJed our wedding. I didn't think of him as that because I met him and he was. Yeah, a he's guy. been friends. We've been friends to this day. To this day, we're still friends with him. Yeah, so. he's amazing. Mm -hmm.